had been told was uh, if there was a, a catastrophic fire, the, the, at, all, at all costs they were trying to, to eliminate, remove the dynamite. So, yeah. So Young Campbell <laughs> was a member of the volunteer fire department. So here are his recollections. I was in the Sunnyside Hotel at the northwest corner of Water and Carroll Street when the fire broke out. I heard shouts of fire, fire, and ran out into Tramp Valley. I put a horse on one of those one-horse picture carts we used in those days and drove up to Schoolers, who had his hardware and sheet metal store about halfway between Abbott and Canby on the south side. I put six or seven boxes of dynamite in the cart, drove off, and ended up putting them on Hastings Mill Wharf. Mrs. Alexander said not to put the dynamite there, but I did. I told her they could throw it overboard if it became necessary to do so, which they did, and it floated in the harbor for some days. <laughs> so you can imagine you, Campbell, running down Water Street, which was packed with people at this point, weaving in and out with his butcher cart full of dynamite. Okay. So here's the volunteer fire department. And there's Look at their house. you down in the corner there. You, Campbell. He lasted a long time, too. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, 